Hey friends, tonight we are checking in to the cabins at Disney's Fort Wilderness. I am so excited to stay here and I can't wait to show you around and give you the full cabin tour. This resort has so many amenities and we're gonna try to use all of them. So I figured we come on out, do some fishing, sit around a campfire and have a beautiful Fort Wilderness kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. And the best thing about staying at the cabins at Fort Wilderness is this little beauty is going to be staying with me because they're pet friendly. Look at that. Me and Gracie are going to have a Disney Resort staycation together. I'm so excited. You excited? When you stay at a pet friendly Disney Resort, you have to pay an additional pet fee. The one for here at the cabins is $50 and it costs just around $400 to $500 for the cabin per night, depending on the season. And now we're going to give you the grand tour. I'll show you the inside of the cabin and then we're going to head out and explore around the resort a little bit. This is the inside of my cabin and look at Gracie just chilling out on the couch over there. This is the living room. I'll give you a full tour and show you guys around, but it's so beautiful. I love it. It's very cozy in here. The ceilings are very high and I like it a lot. Sadly, from what I heard, they are doing refurbishments on these cabins and they are going to be switching them out to an updated cabin that kind of looks more or less like glamping. I kind of like this. So let me know in the comments if you would want them to keep these style cabins once I get done with the tour. But uh, yeah, I'll show you around a little bit. Facing this way, you can see they have a full kitchen and it's got a microwave, a fridge, a stove, a dishwasher, and it comes with mason jars and everything in there, so it's really nifty. And then you go back that way and it takes you to the bedroom. But one of the things I love is all the light fixtures in here. Like all the light fixtures have little animals on them. You can see like these ones right here, they have bears uh, and some trees. It's very nice. And then over here, these light fixtures have little mooses well big mooses look at that isn't that so nice we are all settled in already so the room is not in like tip-top shape but the one thing i did notice was there wasn't a lot of outlet spaces in fact i have like my computer set up at the dining room table and there's no outlets near the dining room table so that makes it a little difficult maybe that's like one of the things they want to refurbish and try to make it more modernized you know you can sleep a lot of people in here because the couch actually pulls out into a bed and it has two doors. You have this one door that goes out to the deck and then down the hallway you have the master bedroom that has a separate door. I'll show you later on. And here is the bathroom itself. I like the bathroom. It's very nice. I like all the wood and it's really cool because when you're on the toilet you can actually look out the window here and it's just like the wilderness. The window, the, the door. The window actually opens up, but look at out there. Isn't that so cool? I like it a lot. And then here is the bathtub. They've got the H2O products all locked up. And it's just like a regular tub. It's not like one of the walk-in ones. But yeah, the bathroom's pretty nice. Help us help the wilderness. They got little signs posted in here too. As I was walking around the bathroom, I looked in the mirror and I kind of realized I'm wearing the perfect shirt for today. Like, look at this. It looks like, honestly, a cast member shirt. It's a Roosevelt's Roper, and I like these styles of shirts. You got the buffaloes on the shoulders. I think they look very fancy. Going back past the kitchen, you have your main bedroom, and it looks like they've got a queen-size bed, and then they've got bunk beds. Oh, and look who's here! Is that, you called dibs on that one? There's Gracie girl. I'm so excited to be staying here with her. Look at her, she's just making herself at home right there. Wow, but yeah, you have bunk beds, you got a queen-size bed, you got a little TV here, they've got a vanity area, it looks like, with the mirror over here. I got our book bags over here, and then uh, a little wall safe area right here. I love how the bunk beds look like they're hand carved and also all the light fixtures in here in the room itself. I love the curtains. This is a very cozy room, but I do have to say having the bunk beds and the bed together makes it a little tight. Like you can only, you only have a certain amount of walking space, you know? At least there's plenty of space underneath the bed, especially if you need an extra sleeping spot or some extra luggage space, tons of room under the bed. 
when you check in with your pet disney gives you this nice little doggy bag and it's got pluto on it and you get a watering dish and you get a poopy bag holder and even a little disney pets tag look at that isn't that cute i'm gonna keep this on her because i think that's awesome we also rented a golf cart and it was $67 for the whole entire day. And I would highly suggest doing this. You might need to get a reservation. They do sell them here, like they do rent them out here, but they sell out. But this resort is so big and you can't drive your car around. Like there's no parking spots to go to any of the spots around here. So you either need to take the bus or a golf cart. And trust me, the golf cart comes in handy. This is so nice though. You can just hang out on the deck. Gracie is loving it. And I'm pretty sure that these cabins are specifically for like uh, pet friendly accommodating because every one of our, my neighbors all has dogs and they're all like looking at each other. Gracie's loving it. And they even have a dog park. We'll actually take you to the dog park too soon. We have a little tiny picnic table on the deck itself and I made some coffee and I'm just sitting out here, me and Gracie. She's underneath the table right there. What are you doing? <laughs> just hanging out, enjoying Fort Wilderness. I love it here. I love it here so much. What you think, little girl, huh? What do you think? You like it here? You wanna stay? Huh? You wanna stay? You do. Yeah. We're going to have some friends coming by and visiting us. And then also we have some other friends that are staying here in cabins as well. So it's kind of like a Fort Wilderness party. And you know, a lot of people do that. Like some people, like when you can camp here, like you can bring your RV and stuff like that. Some people stay here for like a month. Like they literally go all out. I could spend, I could probably spend a month here either in an RV or in one of these cabins. My friend Sean is here with me too, hanging out. I'm sure we'll have some other friends come by. It's a nice spot and I kind of want to just hang out, maybe go to the campfire later on. Yeah, cozy. they got the Chippendale sing-along at the Ooh, campfire here. We're going to have fun. I'm excited. We're going to get out here wild in the wilderness. Yep, and now we're going to go uh, club carring or golf carting. Just a bunch of cowboys driving around in a golf cart at Fort Wilderness. About to go see some horses and do some fishing. Frontierland. It is here that we experience the story of our country's past. The color, romance, and drama of frontier America as it developed from wilderness trails to roads, riverboats, railroads, and civilization. A tribute to the faith, courage, and ingenuity of our hardy pioneers who blazed the trails and made this progress possible. We've made our way up to the Tricircle D Ranch. This is where they keep all of the Disney horses. In fact, they even have the Headless Horseman's horse here, the one that you see during Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So I'm excited, maybe we'll actually see them and I'll be able to point them out. But uh, yeah, this is just the first stop. We wanna try to get everything done. Like I mentioned, it closes at 5 p.m. So that's why we wanted to come here first. And this is semi newish. Like this is a new barn that they have. And during the Halloween season, sometimes they actually play the Headless Horseman in here. They uh, brought, they, they drop down a big uh, projector and you sit in the barn with the horses watching the Headless Horseman. Isn't that cool? Right here is Grady. Look at Grady. Hi, Grady. Oh, hello. And then over here is Skyler. Skyler is a Clinesdale. Hi, Skyler. That is so awesome. You're so beautiful. Wow. It is completely free to come visit the Tricircle D Ranch. The only thing is, is you can't park here. So you have to park kind of where the check-in is and take the bus up to the settlement. And uh, they also have like pony rides. You can do horse riding. That costs an additional price, but it's free to just come see the horses. And I like that. Right here is Zilly. And Zilly happens to be the Headless Horseman's horse. Look at that. And this is Leo. Hi, Leo. Aw. Oh, is that like a little stamp? Oh, the flies got flies on his legs. Oh. 
Well, I'm happy that we got to go see the horses. I thought they were really cool. And maybe later on we might do a carriage ride. But we made our way back to the cab. And I want to take Gracie for a little walk around the loop. And then also over to the dog park to show you guys how awesome that dog park is. And then we're going to go fishing. We're going to go fishing here at Fort Wilderness. Gracie's just hanging out on the deck there. And we're just setting and making pine cone mickeys. <laughs> pine cone mickeys. I think it's really good. I am impressed. <laughs> I think you did a fine Mickey there. I don't know though. When you look at it from this angle. It's like the start of the Olympic rings without the other two. Uh, <laughs> Gracie loves chasing the little lizards and sometimes snakes if she sees them. But look at how nice this is right behind my cabin. I love this. Like, I was kind of worried that the cabins were too close together, but there is so much space. Wait. I want to take Gracie around and show her around the resort a little bit, but I don't want to bring her around a lot of people. She's still very skittish. She's a very skittish dog. I mean, she doesn't act that way because she's with me, but, you know, being a Dalmatian and being a Disney, it draws a lot of attention. So a lot of kids want to run up to her and pet her. And she's cool with, you know, people petting her and stuff like that. But I don't want to put her in the situation where it gets overwhelming. You know what I mean? I definitely wanted to take her up to show her the horses, but since Pioneer Hall is probably too busy with the Tri-Circle D Ranch, I brought her to the front of the park where the horses are just hanging out here. She's been around horses before. Gracie used to run around a farm with cows and everything. Wait a second, you don't look like a horse, you look like a cow. Oh boy, the horses are coming in. Not a peep from you? Huh? And here is Wagging Trails Dog Park. Look at Pluto on top there. And they have a small dog park and then a big dog park. Gracie's gotta go on the big side. Come on, you wanna go inside now? You ready to go play? Go, Chris, go. Woohoo! Look at that. Oh, I guess she really had to go. I like to play this game with Gracie where I tell her to go stand in the farthest point away from one side of the dog park and then I go to the other side and then I kneel down and tell her to come and then she comes running to me and it's so awesome. We do it at, at literally every th dog park but this one's a little bit larger so I don't know if she's going to see me from that far away. This ain't like the dog parks back home. I'll tell you what, I find it hard to believe that everybody cleans up after their dog, but there is nothing in here. It is so well maintained. I have a feeling that uh, Custodial actually comes by. That's the only reason I can come to, like, I mean, it's the only way I can, like, if you just look, look at how large this dog park is, and there is not any, like, poop left behind or anything like that. So Custodial definitely has to be in here. Gracie really loves this tree. <laughs> she does. I couldn't even make it all the way over here. She started running behind me. She's like, where are you going? <laughs> all right, you stay here. I'll go on the other side then, all right? Who's the happy puppy? Who's the happy puppy? Huh? Let me see that smile. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Oh, what's this? What's this? Hold on. Oh. Ooh, I got something of yours. You want it? Huh? <laughs> oh yeah, get some of that water. Well, Gracie has officially tapped out. She gets too hot when she's running around the dog park the way she does, especially in this Florida heat, and all she wants to do is lay underneath her dreaming tree. So I'm gonna take her back to the cabin, and then we're gonna head, and we're gonna go fishing. We're going fishing. We got some deer on the road up here. Look at this, wow. They're just hanging out. Chilling. Bunch of deer right in the woods. Oh boy, coming in hot. 
We've made our way over to Chippendale's Campfire Sing Along. This is a little theater area where they have uh, s'mores and fires, and then Chip and Dale come out and they do a little sing along. It's really nice, and it's later on tonight, so we're going to try to be back for this, definitely. It's really awesome, and it's a good time. It gets very crowded. They also do the uh, movie Under the Stars, so I think tonight's movie Under the Star is A Bug's Life. Oh, fancy. All around the resort, they have little settlements that have different activities and places you can get something to eat. And uh, this one right here is where you can rent the uh, fishing pools to go fishing. They also have boat rentals and kayak rentals. You could do almost anything here. Here are the prices for all the rentals. You have the kayaks are $13 for 60 minutes. Canoes are $13 for 60 minutes too. If you want to get a fishing rod, uh, it is uh, $16 for the whole day or $10 for 30 minutes. But at that point, you might as well just get it for the whole day. And that's what I did. Got it for the whole entire day. They don't have any bait though. That's the only thing. Here is a little bit of a map so I can show you guys how massive this resort actually is. This is where you have to check in down here. And I think we are staying like right here. Yeah, we're staying right in this little loop there. And this is all of the resort. And it's a mixture between RVs, campsites. This is the bark, uh, the bike barn and the campfire sing-along. Here is a fishing spot we're gonna go to. And then here is the settlement, like where Pioneer Hall hoop de doo is and where you can catch the boat over to Magic Kingdom. So it is pretty massive. That's why you want to get that uh, electric uh, golf cart. There's a couple of things on there that aren't mentioned that you can do here that I think is pretty awesome. Like you can rent a Segway and go on a Segway tour here. They have archery lessons, uh, like I said, horseback riding and even carriage rides. The carriage rides are up near Pioneer Hall and we'll check that out later. That whole entire area is kind of under refurbishment. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to point it out. Right now I just want to go, want to go get some fishing now that I got my pole. Nikki T's here. He's joining up on the fishing. Haven't caught anything, have you? Not yet. I used to be a boat pass fisherman in my last life. So. Did you say a boat? <laughs> a boat pass fisherman? Pro bass. Oh, pro bass From fisherman. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, all right. This is so awesome, guys. I'm gonna be fishing on Bay Lake right now. Look at that. This is Bay Lake right here. Holy moly. Just on the other side of this tree is the Magic Kingdom. You can see the contemporary. And also there's a random house back there. Or it's a barn. That's really, really awesome. It's kind of creepy. I wish I can go over there, but there's no way. And I think that right there is a bat house. I think they built that for the bats. It is getting super hot out here and nothing is biting. I don't have any real bait though, so I would rather real bait. I was digging around, I tried to see if I could find any in the ground. I only got one and I lost it. But uh, yeah, nothing's biting, but it's very peaceful out here. I'm having a good time, I'm really relaxing and enjoying, but I'm gonna have to call it quits soon if I don't get nothing. Been here about an hour, haven't bitten anything. Haven't, I haven't bitten anything, nothing has bitten me. <laughs> I did accidentally drop my hat in the water, so <laughs> I had to fish it out. I can't believe I caught it though. Holy moly, at least I caught something. I put my hat in the front of the golf cart to help it dry off. I'm just driving around listening to the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack now. I just love these little golf carts. It's like my favorite thing about this day. Ooh, coming in hot. Since we gave up on fishing, I made my way up to Pioneer Hall because I wanted to see about some food options and everything's closed. As you guys know, Trails End, they got rid of, but PJ's uh, Quick Service is actually under refurbishment. They're only doing uh, mobile orders and even Crockett's Tavern is closed. Look at it. It's all gone, but they do have a lot of food trucks, but I'm torn. Do I eat at a food truck or do I, you know, go buy stuff and cook out on my grill? Cause I got a grill at my cabin. Hopefully we're going to be able to make it to uh, Chippendale's sing-along, their campfire sing-along. As long as there's no rain, they won't cancel it. And they have s'mores over there. And I think they also have a food truck, but uh, yeah, I got to figure out what we're doing for Din Din. Me and Gracie are probably starving.
I noticed that they're starting the wagon rides and it's only $12 and it's a 25 minute ride around uh, the fort and I'm definitely doing it and guess who is going to be taking us around it's Zilly and I think Grady Zilly was actually the horse uh, the headless horseman's horse and now we get to they, they're gonna actually take us around for a little ride I'm so excited look at this this is such a big wagon holy moly Lots of room in here, I tell ya. I'm honestly having such an amazing time on this little uh, vacation. It's been amazing. I love it here. Just being able to hang out with Gracie and just be so close to her inside of a Disney resort. I feel like we should start doing uh, like all pet friendly resorts. You know what I mean? I want to take Gracie around to all of them. I want to bring her to the Yacht Club. I want to take her to Art of Animation. And then what's the other one? Oh, Port Orleans. It'll be so fun. All right, here we go. This is already becoming a, such a great decision. Very relaxing. <laughs> We're actually going off-roading where uh, no uh, golf carts can go. Only the horses. We're driving past that bat house again and I asked them if it was a bat house and they said yes. And there's 2,500 bats in there. Isn't that impressive? Thank you so much for the ride. That was very nice. Well, that horse carriage was great, but now we want to keep moving along so we can get what we wanted to get done tonight. And we're going to start making our way to Chippendale's campfire sing-along and maybe uh, eat some s'mores. Presented by Off. Make sure you guys wear it because <laughs> there are lots of uh, mosquitoes. Definitely uh, have been getting bitten up. But look how beautiful this is. Wow. The fire is going. The sunset. This is nice. The Chip and Dale campfire sing-along doesn't start till 8 p.m. But at 7 o'clock, they light the fires and they start selling s'mores kits. And you can come and you can, uh, you know, make uh, s'mores. But they used to provide you the marshmallows, but I don't think they do that anymore. So they have a little food truck and I think we have to go buy, like, marshmallows or a kit. We ended up getting a s'mores kit. It was $10 for the s'mores kit and then 50 cents per stick. And uh, we got two sticks only because Sean doesn't want to, Sean doesn't want to roast marshmallows. Sean, Sean doesn't want s'more. I'm here for the moral support. You're here for the s'more support? There we go. I'm double marshmallowing it. Double marshmallowing it. I like my marshmallows to burn. Just a just a little bit. But nice and slow. Gotta get oh, oh. It's snapping at me. The perfect marshmallow. Look at that. It's actually got a little little crisp to it there. there Should go. pull out very nice. I'm gonna add the chocolate. Oh no. It's already melted. Look at my hands. I'm gonna fold it over. You don't want to squish it too much, just a little bit. There we go. And uh, that's a s'more. It's really awesome just being able to sit out here and watch the sunset, making s'mores. It's really, this is a good night. And hopefully the sing-along starts up soon. Can't wait to see Chip and Dale 
all running around singing along. What are they doing back here? <laughs> Hi folks, how y'all doing tonight? Can you be louder? Hi folks, how y'all doing tonight? Welcome to Chippendale's Campfire Sing Along here at Theater Under the Stars. I'm Mark King. Chippendale, we have dark, almost black chocolate chip looking nose. That's a little trick you can use. Remember which one is which? He's got the chocolate chip nose, so that's chip. Dale's nose is big. Reddish and brownish, we call it the meatball. So you got your meatball, you got your chocolate chip. Dale's got two teeth spread far apart. Chip's got two teeth close together. A lot of people think that's one big tooth. But if you look close, you can see it's two right close together. And their eyes are different. Dale's eyelids are drooping. He looks sleepy. See, what did you boys do today? Fishing. Did either of you catch anything? Without further ado, it's Chip and Dale. Thank you, boys. While they get back there, I'll start where we're going to start. The other night, dear, as I listened, I dreamed I held you in my arms. When I awoke, dear, I was mistaken. So I the campfire sing along is a lot of fun and so many people are just singing along and actually having a good time i kind of don't want to leave but at the same time i need to get something to eat because if we stay here then everything's going to close down and also i want to see maybe there might be a slight chance that we can get the hoopty doo review for their last showing of the night which that would be amazing if not we'll come up with something I had to stop back in and uh, check on little Gracie girl here. She loves it here. And I love how you can have this little deck out here. You just let her walk around. You just have to block the entranceway there. Like I have stuff blocking it so she can't go. But she really never, I mean, she wouldn't leave anyway. She, she just likes to be where I'm at. Oh, and also, uh, when you're a pet you ha uh, room, you have to have this on at all times when they're in there. So the housekeeping doesn't come in. I could have brought Gracie to like the campfire sing-along and up near all the settlements in Pioneer Hall, but she doesn't do well in crowds. She gets really scared and skittish, so I don't want to put that anxiety on her, you know what I mean? She's just cool chilling out here and hanging out on the deck with me, because I mean, that's what I like too. Well, it looks like we are in luck. There was a last minute cancellation for the hoop dee doo review. I just walked up and said, hey, is there any cancellations? And they said, yeah, and uh, I'm allowed to go to the 8.30 showing. I can't even believe it. This is gonna be so awesome. This is an all you can eat home style like like buffet, like it's awesome. It's a, well, it's family style, but it's a musical review. So it's a dinner show and you get fried chicken, you get ribs, you get everything. And this is amazing. I'm so excited. We got very lucky. It looks like we are in luck. I'm at a two seater table in the corner. I didn't even know they had this. And uh, yeah, yeah, we've got most of the food here already. And I can't wait for the show to start. For starters, we've got coleslaw, cornbread. This cornbread is so good. And then also a side salad. And everything comes out to the table, so they'll bring over big, big gigantic platters. But I am excited. I can't wait for the cornbread. I'm pretty far tucked away from the stage itself. And I don't know if you guys know this, but when you come here, you actually have to pay a premium to sit in like the closest to the stage. It costs more money the closer you get to the stage actually. And um, I'm not sure what this one would be because I'm I think the farthest away from the stage. I really think I am. So this might be just maybe just the two top in the back, I guess. Included with the food, you can get all you care to enjoy Bud Light or uh, Yingling, or they have sangri uh, Sangria, Sangiri, Sangiri, they have Sangria, and I also think uh, Chardonnay. So that's actually really, I mean, not too many places offer that. And they serve it all in mason jars, so I ended up getting a Bud Light and a Sprite. A Sprite Bud Light. 
I think that's better. <laughs> now I won't get cornbread crumbs all over my shirt. I don't want to get cornbread crumbs on my roper, you know? dinner bell has been rung. We've got fried chicken, we've got ribs, we've got baked beans, we've got cornbread, macaroni and cheese, and mashed potatoes. Holy moly, that's a lot of food. Holy moly. I gotta admit, this fried chicken is amazing. It is so good. Holy moly. I like it a lot. I always like going for either the thigh or the drumstick first. That's my go-to. I know a lot of people have different ones. I'd say I'm a drumstick guy. The ribs are okay, but I'm telling you, it's the fried chicken is where it's at. And I also love the mashed potatoes. Those are amazing. And you can get as much as you want, less or more. So if you want to get more ribs, you can get more ribs. If you want no chicken, you get no chicken. I kind of get more chicken. I think I'm going more chicken. I'm so excited for this. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Come on, help us. All right, this way. What are you doing? Hello. How would you like to come help with the grand finale of our show? Oh, no way, really? But yeah, why not? All right. You want to come? Yeah, All right, I'll do it. <laughs> Wait. I'm trying to catch you, but no problem. Okay. <laughs> Oh my lord, no. <laughs>
holy moly I don't even know how to begin to recap what just happened but that was so awesome number one the food was amazing number two I got called up on stage and I know a couple of my friends who happened to be in the audience recorded it for me so hopefully I'm gonna be able to put the video in here but I've never done anything like that that was awesome I've always wanted to too like I never heard like I, I I've done this show before and I've always low-key like man I wish that was me and it was today and I was so happy it was so great wow what a, what, a, what an amazing stay so far I'm having the best time ever and look at that I even got my very own certificate that is that was so awesome that was amazing wow <laughs> Is this really an ice cream truck right now? Oh, wow. <laughs> and we are back in the cabin. Back with Gracie, girl. What are you in here? You watching uh, Resort TV? Yeah? How's the stay been, huh? Yeah? You wanna go hang out outside? You wanna go for a walk? Let's go for a walk, come on. And with that, we are done here tonight. I can honestly say this has been one of my best and most favorite little staycation I've ever been to at Disney. Like this has been absolutely amazing. I've had so much fun and I kind of just want to come back and do it again. I know I live, I literally live 10 minutes from here, but just being out in the woods, you know, camp out, I would love to actually even come rent a tent. That would be amazing too. But like just being here, it's just so much fun. So I really hope you enjoyed the video because I really enjoyed making it and uh, we'll see you next time bye Gracie says good night as well and thank you for watching